So guys, I have Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is a very hush-hush disease. A lot of people do not like to talk about it. Shh. So let's talk about it. So you guys are probably thinking, Kevin, what is Crohn's disease? Let me show you. So Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammatory bowel disease, which means you have it for your entire life. So when you have Crohn's, your body's immune system starts attacking healthy cells in the GI tract, causing a bunch of inflammation. Your age doesn't matter, Crohn's can affect young people and old people. Crohn's can show up anywhere in the digestive system. It can show up anywhere from the mouth all the way through the system, showing up in the anus. So Crohn's doesn't have the most glamorous of symptoms. Just some of the symptoms are weight loss, ulcers, fatigue, joint pain, yeah, rectal bleeding, cramps, and you can't forget about that diarrhea. So for right now, there isn't a cure for Crohn's, but there are medications to help your body go into remission. And once these medications start working, you can start living life again like a champ. So I was 16 years old when they diagnosed me. There was this one summer, I got super sick, I had terrible diarrhea terrible cramping. I went from weighing 175 pounds to the time I got into the hospital weighing 128 pounds. The doctors had no idea what was wrong with me. They put me in like a quarantine room. They ran so many tests on me. I thought I was going to be on an episode of House. I was in the hospital for almost a week and my mom somehow slept every night curled up in this uncomfortable hospital chair next to my bed. Mom, if you're watching, thank you for being there for me. But they ended up doing an endoscopy, which is a camera down the throat, and a colonoscopy, which is a camera up the butt. And they found out I had Crohn's disease. I had never heard of Crohn's disease before, but I remember the doctor coming in and telling me the results, and I just cried in my mom's arms. I thought my whole life was over. I was 16 years old. I thought only older folks got sick. Little did I know, I was about to take one of the greatest, toughest journeys of my entire life. So you have to constantly keep visiting the doctor's office. It becomes almost your second home. You spend a lot of time waiting in the waiting room with the older folks. Then while you wait, the doctor's office just loves to give you loads of paperwork to fill out. I have no idea how to fill these out. All of my doctors and nurses are awesome. It's more like visiting a friend instead of visiting a doctor. I right, see you next time. So in order to keep my Crohn's under remission, the doctors prescribed me a lot of medication. I was only taking like 10 pills a day. So before Crohn's, I had never had taken a pill ever. So I had to learn pretty fast on how to take a pill. Just do it! Yes, you can! And sometimes you have to take suppositories. They're a pain in the butt. Pun intended. And you have to give yourself injections. Ow. The medication is great and all, but the medication does have a lot of side effects. Like when my doctors put me on this medication called prednisone, it caused my whole face to swell up like a chipmunk for months. So because of Crohn's, my intestines don't absorb calcium correctly, which means I constantly get kidney stones. So when you get all these kidney stones, you have to constantly go in and get ultrasounds like a pregnant woman. Aww. You ready? Yeah, hopefully you won't find a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I always wanted twins. All right, let's start with the right ones. Breathe normal. Show any pain on this side. Yeah, I feel it. So I have a kidney stone there, kidney stone a there. A little one there. Probably like two. Little one millimeter. I have twins. <laughs> We're looking at the left kidney to see if I turn into Octomom. <laughs> Good. So we got another one right yeah, there. You see it there. Yeah. You see another tiny one right there. Another one. I am up to four. So you guys know the term, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Those are words to live by when you have Crohn's disease. Sometimes you can't control your bowel movements, so you have to go into what I call the Forrest Gump mode. When you gotta go, you run as fast as you can to that toilet. I could probably beat Usain Bolt in a race. I'm that fast when I gotta go. So there's nothing worse than realizing you have whale noises coming from your stomach. So then you're like, I gotta go. But I can make an explosion. What's wrong? Crohn's. <laughs> Did I mention Crohn's makes you go to the bathroom 
Award. You'll have a lot of days when you feel like complete death and you can barely get out of bed. Life's like a game of Candyland. You gotta do the best with the card you're dealt. Sometimes you'll end up with the lollipop princess and sometimes you'll end up with grandma nut. If any of you guys are going through a tough part in your life, let it be a physical illness, a mental illness, or just you're having a bad day. What I learned is to always look at the positive things in life and to never lose your sense of humor. I realized there were so many people not living life to the fullest. They're always saying, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it next time. You don't know what tomorrow holds for you. You could be gone tomorrow. Do it today, live now. If you've always wanted to go to Comic-Con, Go to Comic-Con. We're going on an adventure. If you're scared of heights, conquer that fear and go climb a giant rock wall. And try some new stuff. If you have never had a facial before, go try a facial. <laughs> but guys, just remember, look at the positive things in life and never lose your sense of humor. You'll have your good days and you'll have your bad days. But when you're having that good day, embrace that day. But Crohn's doesn't only affect you. It also affects your family, friends, and relationships. It's really tough sometimes because they're out doing stuff and you are stuck inside. And I get so frustrated sometimes because my illness is stopping me from having fun. So you spend a lot of time at home. Since you're sick, stuck at home all the time, you watch a lot of Netflix. Seen that one, seen that one. But you also learn a lot about yourself. So I was like, why me? Why was I chosen to get this terrible disease? But then I realized, you know what? You gotta embrace this, Kevin. You gotta turn this negative into a positive. So because of having this horrible, painful disease, I realized what I wanted to do in life. I wanted to make people happy. That's one of the reasons why I make these videos is because I know there's so many people having a crappy day and if they can just watch one of these videos and maybe get a couple of laughs, that will bring me so much enjoyment knowing that I am making someone happy. But I do have a crazy awesome family that helps me through the tough times in life and with my constant bathroom stops. So I'll be posting more videos about Crohn's disease so don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified every single time I post a video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Show it some love, share it, hit that like button, and I will see all of you guys next Thursday. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It kind of looks like the surface of the moon. <laughs> Claus, well, this is a junior. Not a, not, not a big, it's a junior. Double cheeseburger, blue bacon. It's good, really good.